I'm late to the game, so we gonna be a few days late after the start of Vlogmas. just finished brushing my teeth and washing my face. I just remembered just a random moments of time. So I use an electric toothbrush. My friend that I went on the trip with, she said, oh, you use an electric toothbrush? I would never do that. I'm not lazy. And I'm like, why do people feel the need to add little remarks like that? Um, help me understand. But that's my random thought of today's morning. I really don't know if I'm doing a vlogmas fitness. I'm trying to figure it out. Vlogging is actually a lot of work of having to record everything and sometimes it's just a little too much and then I get to the end of the day and it's like eh, I don't really feel like recording the rest of my day. Well, we're gonna see if I make it or not but I'm late to the game so we gonna be a few days late after the start of Vlogmas but we only missed like what three days? I think three days? Not really sure. I'm gonna have my meeting, I'm gonna make my green tea, maybe eat a little bit. I'm not relatively hungry right now. And then after the meeting, go to the gym during my lunch and kill a workout. Today is leg day. That's going to be the beginning of my morning. <laughs> One of my few tasks for this morning is to be extra. My old coworkers, I hit them up, and this is what I said. Let me show you. Let me, let me, I'm gonna switch the screen. <laughs> Rise and shine, sunshine face. It's Friday. What a time to be alive. <laughs> Do I really have all that energy? At the moment, yes, but it's gonna go away once they probably respawn back in like two minutes and I'm like, mm, I ain't got the energy no more. I don't wanna talk to you no more. <laughs> While I have y'all here, if you watch my videos, you know that I had issues with my wrists ever since May and I've been dealing with that and blah, 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 blah. I know y'all probably over the story. My last video I mentioned I was gonna go to the doctors and get it checked out. So he ended up sending me to hand therapy. She thinks it has to do something with my I wanna say it's the lunate bone. It has an instability right now, so we're working on trying to tighten everything around it to see if that helps. If nothing helps it, then I would have to go to an orthopedic surgeon because I might have just fractured that bone um, or something else is going on. He did recommend that I get either wrist wraps or gloves. I did get some wrist wraps, so I got these ones off of Amazon. I already tried them out. I actually do like them. I only use it on one hand. Before I mentioned that I was doing pull exercises, I was able to do pull exercises. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to, if it was something I, I, I should be doing. And she said, that's perfectly fine. So as long as my wrist stays straight, but she said she doesn't want me to do anything that's a push because there's a chance that I might roll my wrist back. So she doesn't want me doing basically any of this movement. I have my little band. She has me doing some movements with it. I'm just moving my hand outward. I'm going from here upward, going from here downward. Um, and then there is another one where I'm going here upward. See what happens. Now I have actually less pain. There's still pain there. It still bothers me, but it's less pain. I haven't really trained my upper body since the end of May. I've been doing some pool exercises before I went to the doctor for like two weeks prior to that, but I really wasn't going hard, hard because I didn't know if I should be doing it. But now we coming back and I actually love working out upper body. We gonna get big again. My upper body does develop easily for me. So I'm kind of excited about that. I mean, I can't do everything and I can't do certain weights because we want to make sure my wrist doesn't mess up. So that's my little rant that I did not intend on doing, but we kind of went. We kind of went with it. We went with it and we flew. Y'all, it is so foggy outside. Let's see. You see all that fog out there? I'm gonna get it without the screen. Look at that, it's all foggy. I need to cut my trees and pick the fruit. 
don't judge my side yard because I got to do all that work right there and I've just been procrastinating. Oh, look at all that weeds. But I'll get to it. But it's just so foggy today. You could probably hear the people outside. So this is like the worst bad timing because sometimes my sound is not the best. So I'm like yelling at y'all for a purpose. So I have this little blend jet. They're like right next to my door. So I have this blend jet. My mother, my mother decided that she wanted to get me something and she was like, I wanna get you this blender. And I think da 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 da. So I got this little blender jet. I used it. It doesn't come out that little bottom part. I don't wanna have to carry the whole blending part of it with me. I put fruit and protein and whatever in it the other day and it actually works out pretty good. So we'll see how it goes. I'm about to go to the gym though. I just finished my meeting. I'm gonna go on lunch and go to the gym. Um, I actually live by, I have two gym memberships. One gym is like three minute drive. The other gym, there's two options by me. So I either have a seven minute drive or a nine minute drive. But the nine minute drive one be so empty. It's an older one. So people really don't be in there, but they be in there if it makes sense. Like I'm able to use whatever machine I want, have whatever space I want. I'm gonna do that in a minute. from the gym I'm very very tired my wrists and my hands started aching so that was a little annoying but it is what it is so I'm about to stretch a little bit and then eat and then shower because I definitely need a shower but that was a really good workout and you will see my squats so I haven't done squats in a very long time when it comes to doing barbell or using the Smith machine. And I'm gonna transition into using the Smith machine and then going back to barbell squats. And I haven't done any barbell deadlifts as well. Um, I've been using kettlebells and dumbbells for that. I was actually really proud because I went deeper than I have been in forever. There would be a point where I couldn't go any further with my squats on my right side. So I was pretty like excited when I actually went down. My form wasn't that bad. I haven't seen that footage yet, but you might be able to see up top, like my shoulders, I have some issues going on with my uh, range of motion and whatnot with my shoulders. So you'll see that it kind of looks different on each side. So I am aware of that. Um, that's why I'm working on a mobility, full body mobility. I am about to eat and then shower and then I'll see y'all. Okay y'all. I took a shower. I feel so fresh and so clean. And I did eat before I took a shower, but 
I'm still kind of sort of hungry, so I'm going to actually make a protein smoothie, keep it simple and whatnot, rather than having a whole other meal. And then, you can't really see it, but I'm actually wearing jeans! I don't think I ever wore jeans or got dressed in my videos. <laughs> I mean, this is semi-dress since I got jeans on and an actual shirt that's not workout related. And by the way, just so we all know, and because I'm wearing the shirt, just remember, mental health matters. All dimensions of health matters, and you gotta make sure you're good in all areas. Just so you know. If you didn't know, now you know. So I'm gonna make a protein shake. The Banana Nut Blessed Plant Pro, okay, you can't even see my face. Plant Protein, and I think I'm gonna eat, do this. And then, I normally don't freeze my bananas, but I always want to try a frozen banana in one of my smoothies. So I actually froze a banana to give it a try. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend that because I just need something. I kinda wanna do something. Like I had a really good gym sesh, I have all this energy and that hurts. Um, and so I may or may not do something. I kinda thought about getting my nails done because I mentioned before I tried dipped and then that was a disaster because then the person didn't put it the people didn't put it on right and then they filed my nail down too thin on top so my nails were like paper thin where when you try to file my nail it was like trying to file a piece of paper so I've been growing out my nails and I was gonna go get them done but I think I'll let them grow a little bit longer and then plus one chipped on the side so I think that was a message from the universe saying, hey, not today. Maybe this weekend, I really wanna get my toes done because I am a firm believer that you should get your toes done throughout the year. I know some people tell me, I don't do my toes in the winter. They're not gonna be seen, da 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 da. Me, myself, and I, I like my toes done throughout the whole entire year. And so we may go to the nail shop at some point in one of these vlogs. If you wanna know how this tastes, how this protein tastes, then I'm gonna need you to subscribe and wait for my review. There's my plug to myself, because if y'all wanna know how this banana nut protein tastes, you are gonna have to wait for the video. I'm just saying, let me plug myself a little bit. Subscribe a little, all right? So I just got some lottery tickets. I only got $20 worth. I'm gonna see what happens. Um, let's just see, why not? So these are so bomb. They come in strawberry and chocolate. I feel like I've seen another flavor somewhere like vanilla, um, but I can't really recall, but I know for sure they have chocolate and strawberry. These are so good. They're so delicioso. There are a lot of calories for this bag, but it's gonna be so bomb in my stomach. I know that.